Heavy traffic delayed the arrival of the Shamrock Rovers team bus, so kick-off at United Park was delayed for 20 minutes, but the hoops were out of the block smartly. Graham Burke nipped in ahead of keeper Stephen McGuinness. Dave McAllister hammered the ball goalwards, but Colm Deasy was vigilant and blocked the ball away to safety. Trevor Clark has been a real threat down the left-hand side for Shamrock Rovers this season, and he swept past Richie Purdy and delivered into the area. McAllister couldn't apply the finish, Simon Madden dinked it across for Burke, who headed wide under pressure. Drada, who'd lost their previous five league games, went in front just after the half-hour mark. The hoop struggled to clear, and when the ball dropped to the edge of the area, McAllister was caught the wrong side of Sean Thornton, who went over. Referee Rob Rogers was in an excellent position to make the call. Penalty his considered view, even though Thornton's fall was rather theatrical. Thornton himself assumed the responsibility and stroked Drogheda into a 1-0 lead. Thornton's first league goal of the season. Drogheda with a pep in their step nearly added a second before the interval. Gareth McCaffrey did well to hold the ball up. The former Shamrock Rovers player then teed up Jake Highland and he drove the ball just a whisker wide. Sean Boyd came off the bench after the hour mark as Stephen Bradley sought to restore parity. Boyd had a chance, but his close-range header was tame and easily collected by McGuinness. Shamrock Rovers didn't create too much in the second half, but with three minutes to go, they were given a lifeline when Gary Shaw went down inside the area. Big appeals for a penalty, and Rob Rogers agreed. Shaw, the meat in the sandwich between Kevin Farrer and Luke Gallagher. A big call. Drogheda were absolutely incensed by the decision. Sean Brennan, the most vocal. And eventually, he talked himself into a red card. Drogheda down to ten. When things settled, Graham Burke held his nerve and converted the spot kick. 1-1. But there was still more drama to come. Two minutes into stoppage time, Sean Thornton's free kick was headed goalwards by Ryan McAvoy. Chancinski saved, but the ball ricocheted off the unlucky Burke and into his own net. United Park hopping. Drogheda hadn't beaten Shamrock Rovers at home in 12 years, and they were clinging on at the end. The Hoops patiently tried to prize an opening. Ronan Finn's attempted 1-2 broke down. Drogheda, though, failed to clear. The ball eventually fell to Sean Boyd, but McGuinness produced a match-winning save. So, it's now five defeats in eight outings for Shamrock Rovers. Drogheda stopped the rot with a much-needed win. The kind of win that could get their season going once again. Full-time at United Park, Drogheda United 2, Shamrock Rovers 1.